bitches on the beat. What's up YouTube? This is Bonita Rubble and this wig is from Wigs Fly. They sent me this beautiful 613 hair that you guys see in the intro and I love it. So I got these three colors um, from the beauty supply. It was $5, African Violet and Lavender. And I mashed it up towards Nicki Minaj picture and I kept doing it and I was just like, yo, this is the like purple blue. And I think I matched it up pretty well. I just put a lot of blue um, over the hair a little bit too much. But yeah, so you guys see the like hair. I've been doing different hair tutorials in the back, but I'm doing the watercolor, you guys. The watercolor was the easiest method that I knew. Like I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers. So I'm using this blue bowl and this pot. I think it's I think it's really hot. Yeah, I think I think it was really hot. <laughs> I think I did it really really hot but yeah I'm gonna just pour the water in there and you guys know how the watercolor method works because I know you guys seen it all over YouTube and of course Bonita Rubble is always late to stuff like this so yeah I'm gonna use the lavender color first to go all over the hair you guys see my nails are lavender too so I poured like half of the bottle in there because I didn't want it too lavender because as you guys see as a Nicki Minaj picture it's kind of like a light lavender it's not too you know too uh, dark but yeah so next you're gonna see me start mixing it and it looked like a blue right I was kind of worried but it's like a purplish blue you guys it's so weird it all depends on your filter and your lighting but it's like a purplish blue and I'm just mixing it up um, I was worried about that because I didn't want the color to come out too dark you know I didn't want the wig to so now you see the wig um, it's a 613 and it's so beautiful um, yes yeah, from wig by and it came with a little bit of lace you guys not too much lace um, that's just something that you have to remember it doesn't come with too much lace this is good for like a beginner wig um, but if you like full hair then this wig is not for you and if you like to part then this wig is not for you it's not too much on the sides but now you see me just dipping into the lavender and the water may look dark you guys but it's really not that dark when you put it inside the water and it came out perfect I'm glad I didn't use too much of the lavender because um, I wanted it lighter than what it came out but I think that it came out good and now you see <clears throat> how it looks sorry you guys you know it's cold out here in California but now you guys see that it's coming out to like a little lavender and it's just beautiful and look at the water it's like really nothing in it so I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and um, yeah then come back Yeah, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow Bonita Rubble on Instagram. I'm about to say on YouTube. So yeah, now you guys can see like, oh my gosh, the lavender is so beautiful. And I love how it has kind of like the streaks. So some of the hair in the outer took a little bit darker and then the inner took like the light lavender, but it was beautiful. So look at how it came out, you guys. Like I loved it just like that as well. <clears throat> but Nikki, she had it kind of like, like the bluish purple so that's something I wanted to do so you guys could have kept it like that and just did the ends and I wish that I would have just did the ends like a little bit better but look at the streets you guys mm-hmm look it so that's how I should have did it but I wasn't looking at the picture I just did it my way but yes and as you guys can see it's kind of thin in the back the hair but this is like a great beginner's wig if you just want to like do some watercolor hair then yes sis yes yeah <laughs> And as you see, it's flowing and stuff. So I'm going to use the African Violet to do the streaks. I bought two of the African Violets. You definitely don't need two. And I see a lot of people, when they do the ombre effect, they put 
the hair in the pot but definitely I did not do that but like um, I'm just showing you guys look it's kind of like thin in the back so just be aware you know aware of that it's not like double tracked or anything so as you guys see I'm gonna put some foil so it's easier to do the streaks and I'm just gonna do it the old way the old-fashioned way with the cellophane you, you know just color it so that's what I did throughout the hair that's what I did <laughs> So um, as you guys are going to see me, just do that throughout the hair, part it. Now you guys can do this exact step, but do less of the purple going up. Because as you guys can see, it looks like a dark purple here. But then when you wash it out, it's like a blue. But these are definitely the colors he used. I know this is the colors that he had to use because it totally matches. But I just used a lot of that. Look, it, I put it too up, but it's fine. It don't have to be identical. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you guys go ahead and make sure there's a link down below if you guys want to see my or my personal life. Um, life as Bonita Rebel. Go ahead and make sure you guys see that. There's going to be vlogs. There's more get ready with me challenges, reactions. Um, this is just my hair beauty page. And um, I don't want to open up on here. So, Make sure you guys check that out if you guys want to. And make sure you guys go on at um, Bonita Rebel on Instagram. And I love you. Thank you, Wigs by This hair is beautiful. Um, pros, it's beautiful. The hair came soft and everything like that. 613. The hair was easy to watercolor. Just the con, it is a little bit on the thin side. And this hair is um, 18 inches. So I love you guys. It's Bonita Rebel. Hope you guys like this. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments, and peace. Love you, Rubber Gang.